Hey everyone, this is Sheena with Moms Against Medical Bullying, and uh, what the heck? Oh, a beautiful butterfly just came out of nowhere. I just wanted to make a short video on a Christian covert narcissist, once again, to add to the series that I'm doing. And this video is just about how um, uh, flying monkeys, right, like, it is the easiest thing for Christian covert narcissists to gain flying monkeys from church, from believers. Why is that? Well, this is why. Because the Christian covert narcissist, you know, may not, in, in some situations, does not go to church the whole time that you're with them, right? They don't tell your kids, you know, really about church. Like, they don't. Then all of a sudden, when you're not with them, they think church is the most important thing ever, right? Well, that's because they need some kind of, they need something. They need that supply. They need to, I, I said this in a previous video, they need to share their sad story with people. They, the kids are used as pawns to add to the sad story. You know, it's dad and kids and we're at church and we're with God and she's, you know, the mom you know, out there, and she's doing these wrong things that are against the Bible because she wants to separate from the Christian covert narcissist. So she's the bad one. But, you know, so then they go, and then they get these people to feel bad for them, and you can't explain anything to a Christian flying monkey because they don't care, like, because, see, in their mind, with God, you know, with God, all things are possible. If they, they might not understand about covert narcissism or they might not want to understand because you know they're just going to be like well it, it doesn't really matter because the person's repenting or they've asked for forgiveness or they have said they're going to change and you got to forgive them and all things are possible with god you got to reconcile right so easy it is so easy they don't think that oh, okay well this person is just saying that They've done this before. This is their pattern. They're never going to say that. So if you're a Christian and you're dealing with separating from a Christian covert narcissist, you need to be strong in your faith. You need to be strong in Christ and who you are and know that just because you married someone and guess what? you God was in you before that. God was with you before you married that person. Do you think that now, because you're not married to them, that God has forsaked you, that he has left you, that, oh, okay, so all I had to do was just divorce this person, and God's like, oh, peace out, lady, I ain't with you no more. Like, no, absolutely not. This is what they think. They think, well, I'm with God. We're with God, and you're not. When the whole truth of the matter was, they did not act like they was with God the whole time you were with them. They didn't pray with you. They didn't take your family to church. They didn't whip out the Bible and do Bible studies with, with the family. None of that. They didn't fix their toilets. You know, they didn't, you know, take their wife out to dinner. They didn't do anything special for their family. They didn't get their kids' birthday presents on their birthday. You know, like, thoughtful ones that you think about beforehand. You know, like, oh, it's my kid's birthday coming up. I need to buy them some gifts. No, they don't. They don't give thought to anyone they don't put thought into anyone. So, right? The whole time they're just, you know, acting like acting like that. But once you want to separate them, they are 100% for God. Conveniently. So, yeah, the point of this video is it's easy for Christian covert narcissists to gain Christian flying monkeys because in the Christian you know, doctrine, you forgive, right? If somebody, you know, uh, you know, says they're sorry and that they're going to change and they say their sad story, then you have to forgive them. You got to try to reconcile and work things out. They don't understand that that, that, that that is that person's pattern and that really they might change for a time, but they're not going to break out of that personality disorder. And it could be tricky because it's not, okay, fine, like, I do agree that all things are possible with God, but that person has to want to do it, and that person can do it while they're away from and separated from, you know what I'm saying? That person should be going to church by themselves, not all of a sudden they want to take the kids to church. They want to just show off. 
They want to show off to the kids. They want to show off to the people at the church. Because if they were serious, they'd be going, you know, by themselves and, and trying to fix themselves. But they're not trying to fix themselves. You're the perpetrator. You're the one who's done something wrong. And they're asking for forgiveness, even though they haven't changed a thing yet. Anyways, I'm getting off and I'm rambling. What I just want to say is that be strong in who you are, you know, and because they will try to outcast you like something's wrong with you.